Welcome to the Business and Bubbly podcast. This is the place for women in business who are on the journey of building their big ideas and want to have fun along the way. It's for those of us who also know we aren't meant to do business or life alone. Hi, I'm Charity Majors, your host and the founder of Business and Bubbly. Think of this kind of like the, can I pick your brain chats that you always wanted to have with those who are doing epic things, plus business besties, hype girls, and getting into massive action towards your next big idea, all the same place. Oh, and bubbles, because if you're not having fun along the way, you're not doing it right. Together, we'll unlock what it means to be seen, known, heard, and championed all along the ups and downs of entrepreneurship and being a woman in business building big dreams. Each week, I'll bring you a quick sip business tip as well as interviews from top experts that make you feel like you're getting bottle service for your business. We're having the raw and real conversations and chatting about all the things, the messy middle, the pivots, scaling, the good days and the bad days, because here we do real. It's where we can work hard, play hard, cry it out and dance it out all at the same time without being judged. This is the place where we are in the arena together and we are each other's biggest fans because most of us have enough comments from the cheap seats. It's where our too much is par for the course and where the gaps of our not enough are filled in by the other epic women that are around us. It's where we can be unapologetic about the mission we are on, about the big dreams on our heart and the business we are building without having to be perfect or have it all together or even pretend to. It's a supportive community where business is being done amongst like-minded women because when money gets in the hands of good women, great things happen. It's a place where you have the support around you to get out of your comfort zone and go after your big ideas because even when you fail forward or when you reach the top, you know it won't be alone. Also, if you know anything about me, you'll know that I'm obsessed with creating platforms that lift up other women to be seen and heard and known. So with that in mind, I'd like to invite you to list your business on our directory called Find Women in Business. All you've got to do is text the word directory to 833-231-8098 and I'll text you the link back to get your free listing. This is also a great way to connect with other women in business from around the world, so definitely check it out. And now let's get to the good stuff. Grab a glass of your favorite beverage, Prosecco, bubbly water, or whatever your flavor is and let's dive in. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Charity Majors, and I'm excited to be here with you today. And actually, in this quick sip episode, we are going to be dropping, or I'm going to be dropping, because I don't have a mouse in the pocket. I'm going to be dropping a little bit of some truth bombs. And this is for those of you who might be struggling when it comes to client acquisition. If this is your first time joining us, I am so glad you're here. And if you are returning, maybe you are an OG, you have been with us since the beginning, you are a part of our community, just know how grateful I am and that it is not lost on me that you choose to be here and you choose to be poured into. And oh man, it is such an honor to serve you, to bring you amazing connections and guests. And it just, it's an honor and it's not lost on me. So thanks for being here. Truly, truly, it's the bottom of my heart. And now that we got through, or now that I shared that, I am also going to be diving into, like I mentioned, some kind of some truth bombs when it comes to client acquisition. And what I see a lot in not just with women in business but in the entrepreneurial world and this has also been a lesson that i have learned along the way in my journey when it comes to client acquisition 
And for those of you that don't know, I've had multiple successful businesses and even brick and mortar stores in a few different industries and learned some of the hard lessons. The, like the hard, or some of the lessons that we learn the hard way, the messy way, the long way. And what I can honestly tell you is resources like this, getting around people who know more than you, who can give you the shortcuts and the, like the, the lessons that they learned on their journey so that you don't have to make the same mistakes is so, so invaluable. So make sure that you're staying plugged into this podcast. Make sure that you are joining our communities. If you have them in your local area, if you want to bring them to your local area, we actually have applications open for chapter directors. So head on over to businessquality.com. You'll, you're smart. You'll find the button that says learn how to bring a chapter to your area. Um, and also join us at our summit. Our summit is at the end of September, September 29th and 30th. And we are bringing you incredible experts and women in business who are talking, like giving you the tangible takeaways and the secrets to success, the shortcuts in their journey so that you don't have to take the long road and learn the hard way. Plus you're going to be surrounded by an epic community of women that will be in your corner, that will be in your circle, that will be in your tribe, be your biggest hype girls and biggest fans when you leave. As well as, you know me, I'm also going to give you a little kick in the pants but to put your big girl panties on and level up and to grow. And that's what this episode is about. So when it comes to client acquisition, what I see a lot is, and again, I've totally been here as well, is that for us as women in business, if you're an entrepreneur and you have these incredible ideas, you are like the idea queen, at least for me, I am like the idea queen. I have about a thousand ideas that come into my mind every single day. And at one point in my past, I used to think that I had to turn every single idea into a business and that I had to bring every single idea to life and I had to launch every single idea and create a program out of every single idea. And what I ended up being was like uh, kind of this launch queen, if you will. I would just like create and launch and create and launch and create and launch. And I would create these things that I thought were amazing, but my audience didn't, weren't, they weren't necessarily asking for it. They weren't, they didn't necessarily know me as that within that industry or within as an expert within that topic or, and, or, I pivoted so much that it actually created more confusion than it did clarity as to what I did, what I was about, and what was going on in like how I could help them or how I could serve them. And so what I found, and other experts will tell you this as well, but when it comes to offer creation, when it comes to programming, when it comes to serving your clients, one of the best and easiest ways is to actually ask them what they want. <laughs> it sounds funny, but the most successful entrepreneurs, the most successful people in business are those that find a problem and they're the ones that solve it for them. Okay. This doesn't mean that your program that you have created, the journey that you have been through, the, the processes and the systems and the pathway that you have found in your journey that works. It doesn't mean that it's not valid. It is, but there's a way to package that up in a way that actually reaches your ideal clients, that it actually solves the problem that they are wanting to have solved instead of you convincing them that they have a problem that needs to be solved by your thing. And so here's what I actually want you to do. If you are having trouble acquiring clients or an audience, what I actually want you to do is that whether it's in different Facebook groups, whether it is um, if you have your own community and your own audience, ask them what some of their biggest problems are. And then guess what? The answers that you get, that is literally going to be some of your messaging. That is literally going to be some of the things that go on your websites. That is literally some of the things that you're going to be able to answer in Facebook lives or in your Instagram content or in your podcast or in the things that you're providing for your clients. That's going to be on your frequently asked questions page. And so I actually want you to figure out what problems they're really having and then be the one that solves it for them. And here's another secret is to actually give your best stuff away. Okay. So whether that is in a freebie, whether that is in a masterclass, whether that is in a downloadable, whatever workbook PDF thing, I actually want you to literally give your best stuff away. <laughs> and this sounds really counterintuitive because yes, a lot of people are going to tell you, well, this is what I pay, what people should pay me for. Yes. 
And for the, you could give them like, I'm just I, honest truth. And I love you truth and love. Like you're not selling anything that isn't Googleable, but isn't already out there. And that's okay. Like, yes, you are going to be able to do it in a unique way that you can. But if you're not acquiring clients or if you're struggling acquiring clients, then it's not getting through to them in the way that they think that you can solve their problem. And so what this looks like is actually meeting with potential, like people that are your ideal clients and saying, Hey, I'm wondering if I could jump on a phone call 15 minutes. Like I'll send you a $20 Amazon gift card or a coffee got gift card to Starbucks as a thank you. I'm actually wondering if I could ask you some questions and you record it and you get literally their verbiage and you get their question, you get their problems, you get their, like what it is that they're struggling with. And then that becomes your copy. That becomes your content. That becomes the questions that you answer because you're getting real life feedback from people do this 10, 20 times with 10, 20 people that are your ideal clients. Even if they don't ever hire you, that's totally fine. Like you're just going in with market research, with competitive analysis, with comparison and like market analysis. And now you get to then create things or launch things that are solving the problems that they have. And what you'll start to find is if you do enough of these interviews, or if you do enough of these, like, Hey, like getting questions or getting feedback from people, you'll start to notice trends and you'll start to notice keywords. You'll start to notice key things that they're saying. It might be a a common phrase. It might be a common issue that they're having. And now all of a sudden you become the one that solves it for them. And you have to, you don't have to stop. You don't have to convince them anymore to take your program because your program is what's going to solve their problem. And then here's the other thing when it comes to marketing is that you give them what they want and then you insert what you know that they need. Okay. So stop giving them or stop giving them content or solving problems that you know that they have. Like, yes, you're an expert. Like, you know that they have these problems, but they might not yet. You might be using like verbiage that they don't necessarily know that that's a part of their verbiage that they're experiencing. And so you've got to meet those people where they're at using content and copywriting and languaging that makes sense to them and literally use their own language and to their advantage, like not use it against them to buy your thing, right? It's to their advantage because you have something that can help them and that can serve them. Okay. And then one last thing is I like not only asking people in different groups and getting that verbiage, but I also want you, like I mentioned, to have those interviews and start to solve problems for them. So I would love to know how this helps you how you, if when you do this, like come find me on Instagram at charity majors or business and bubbly. Yes. It's really me. Um, because I love to stay connected with you guys and I want to see what this does for your business. And I want to see what this does for your copyright. I want to see what this does for your content. And as you start to then give away your best stuff, as you start to answer the direct questions that they have, as you start to utilize the verbiage that they are giving you to literally help them know that you are the one that can solve their problems. I can, honestly guarantee that your business will radically change and shift. Do this for 30 days, do this for 60 days and watch how your business radically shifts. All right, my friend, have an incredible day. I believe in you. You have what it takes and cheers to your success. Talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening to the show. I hope it brought some value and some fun into your business and life. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast and even share the episode with a fellow business bestie who you know will love it. It helps us continue to attract top level guests and reach more and more women who are on their journey in business just like you. Remember that when money gets in the hands of good women, great things happen. Cheers to your success.